The Wig wants to pay our own tribute to Chris Gunter, who we think is an all-round top bloke and smashing lad. So we spoke to fans in Dublin who had drunk, and drunk a lot, but they took their time to tell us what they thought of the quiet but unsung hero. This is Wales. I think because of the summer you've got quite a, a large number in a short space of time where normally it takes more sort of through a year. It's got quite high quite quick, but it, it doesn't really change anything. I mean, you know, it's nice to have that number, but you never really get a chance in football to look back too often. Before you get your first ever cup or, or, or when you're just starting out and you've got a cup or, you know, if people was to say to you that you would get to that number or, or you'd get the same as, as some of the players that I've got to or surpassed them, then it's not something you ever think about. It's 78 caps today. 78, yeah. if you start. He's only 27. Yeah. He's got more caps than anybody else who's never scored a goal. He's, he's surpassed uh, Kevin Ratcliffe. 66 caps without a goal was breaking the record, so I mean, I've, I've smashed that now. Well, I've seen his finishing first up as well, you know, growing up with him as a kid. He could never shoot when he was eight, yeah. nine years of age, so it doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, to, to play that many games without a goal is, is stupid, really, but... Uh, I think he could play 200 games for Wales and he wouldn't score, so... Both Neil Taylor and Ashley Williams have now scored. Yes, yeah. I can imagine there's a bit of friendly, a bit of banter going on in the changing room on, on that, but it's not really why the defenders are in the team. Being from Swansea, uh, as far as I can tell, only defenders scored, don't they? So, uh, there we are. <laughs> for a player who, you know, he likes to get forward, you just think by now, it would have happened. Yeah, I do think that'll take a while to get beaten. Chris Gunter's brother. We might, might have figured it out. Um, we're a big fan of Chris. Brilliant. We've no idea who you are. That's, that's, that's I get that all my life. Yeah, I've yeah, had that for yeah. 30 years, don't worry. If you, if you could send a message to Chris Gunter to sort of say, to say you know, it's all right, fellow, we, we know we, this is what you like and this is what we want from you, what would it be? It, well, that's, we've got other people on the pitch to do that. We don't have other people who can do what he does. But if you focus on his bit, everyone else to say a bit, we'll be absolutely fine. Everybody has their role. Yeah. It's not his nice job. Yeah, of course they yeah, do. Yeah, it's not nice his job to score, is it? So defend and. We've got some players who can score goals, so I'll probably leave it to them, but it would be nice to sort of break that and, and never get that question thrown at you again. Uh, I would say don't f cross the ball, Christopher. F shoot. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> in, in fairness, I think that's your answer. We should play Chris Gunter <laughs> up front. Just, you know, maybe with the last 10 minutes when we're 3 0 up or whatever. That'd be great, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in the team to defend and provide us an option from wide positions going forward. He's not in the team to score goals, so it doesn't matter that he's, uh, he's got so many caps and not scored for us, in my mind. He, he brings other things to the party. Well, they were one of the record-breaking de defences as well because they conceded the least in group stages. So he may not be putting them in the net, but he's keeping clean sheets at the back, so that's all that matters. As he showed in the Euros when we lost to England, Telling the fans to keep the chin up. He's important, member of the squad. Gunther to me equals Grafter. And I'm 27. He's got 78 more caps than me. He's one of those players, I guess, who could be underappreciated. Been lost without him, really. Chris Gunther, in my opinion, a bit of an unsung hero. Yes, he's he's an important player for us. Yes. As like you say, he goes forward, but I mean, he does. He puts in such, such a shift, doesn't he? All the time. He's, uh, it'd be nice for him to get some kind of recognition for it, but that's, that's not what he's after, is it? Well, the, the cross for folks against yeah. Belgium, I think he'd be happy with that, he wouldn't he, really? I'll never forget the cross he put in against Belgium, and the head went in for full number three. It is, it's one of those misty-eyed moments. You know, you're going to know where you were when that happened, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah. And you're going to know what was going through your mind. Have you, did you see, have you, seen, have you guys seen Don't Take Me Home yet? I haven't. You haven't now? Oh, yeah. oh, you'll love him more in there as well. I've, I've, I've heard about the, I've heard about the, don't cross the ball. Yep. Yeah. Well, it turns Which, out that Chris Guns is a comedy genius as well. You have to go and watch it just for that. Yeah. It wasn't the players. He got, he got an award. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he got He's an award. award He's award winning. Yeah, so, yeah, Chris Guns, great man.